Wow, he's back again. Another night of vlog. And tonight, I promised somebody I was going to check out the size of our television in this uh, 690G. So we have this uh, position by the door um, as you come in. So it's uh, right adjacent to the lounge. On this one here, like, you just release the catch. I have a piece of sponge, anti-rattle sponge, positioned in behind, and then you can sandwich it up for travel. But it swings out and uh, then you can position it wherever you want in the lounge area. Uh, there you go. And uh, so basically what I'm going to do, I've got to hand here, I've got my tape measure. So let's have a, a little look. Yes, yeah, so I've just uh, turned some lights down. So I hope we can see that screen without too much. It's got super dark. I'm running really late tonight. Been really busy. But um, yeah, so how do we measure these now? This is an AveTech. And uh, so across that way, it is uh, 20 inches diagonally, or it is 17 and a half. This is a 17 and a half then. I can't remember they measure them now. So there's uh, the screen, 17 and a half inches. And uh, swings round in position and clips in to the bracket there like that. That's our front television. The illumination's back on, so uh, I've just swung it back out again, and uh, so you can see this bracket, depending on what bracket you want to put on, position-wise and things. So we've got another t television in the back, so we don't need to see this. This is just our like lounge TV. Um, and how often do we watch it? Not that often. Basically, so the weather's starting to get a little bit wetter, um, we might chuck on. I haven't got an aerial on this van. Uh, we have... DVDs, Raining, Band of Brothers, lovely series, in a box. So, uh, hours of entertainment, that's Blu-ray. We have a Blu-ray player in the back. I think I've, we've done it, I've done it recently, not that long ago, I've probably done a video on the uh, Blu-ray player. But uh, you can, do, so we can connect our computer to this TV and the same in the back and uh, play uh, BBC iPlayer, whatever you want to watch, YouTube. Um, uh, here in this Bursner, we have a uh, 240 volt socket there. We have the 12 volt socket there. The, uh, and the obviously the aerial plug is there, which connects on this van and a lot of Bursners, there's an aerial socket outside uh, with the um, external 240 plug and a 12 volt plug outside uh, which is always handy you can chuck a satellite dish outside if you want to we never got around to it just one of those things it depends if you want to go down that road we're we're not sort of like too sort of watching tv all the time listen to the radio looking out the window is more our styley this ave tech is obviously a 12 volt tv so uh, if even if you're uh, off grid it's still going to uh, give you a, something to watch um so yeah, I have been shopping tonight as well. There's me uh, berry and cherry flakes. We are loaded. Uh, we're loaded up with um, goodies for our little trip to uh, Shepton Mallet. So if you're about Shepton Mallet, we'll see you there. Um, and so we now are entering the TV in the uh, area of the bedroom. Um, so we have a mega sat. This is a um, DVD. It's a 12 volt, 240 volt. Um, it's is Bluetooth. So I have a li lovely little um, Bluetooth mini link speaker that will couple onto this. So if you want some serious sound in your motor home to go with your movie, get your band of brothers on, get some sound flying around. It's, um, it's pretty nice. Um, Just measure up this mega sat across the screen is 22 inches. Look, 22 inches across that way. And uh, you could get a bigger television in there if you wanted to. Um, yeah, but this is pretty big. It's not bad. It's really nice. And there is a little tiny lever located somewhere around there that you can swing it around so you can have it positioned um, on an angle across the bedroom area. So everybody's got a good view. Um, Everybody that wants to try to cram in and watch a movie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. So uh, hope that sort of pushed some light on that. Um, have mentioned, I, I can wrap it on for ages. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this a video short. We got this beautiful bracket in uh, uh, a camper shop in Germany. Uh, they put some super duper sicky stuff on there that doesn't, they said, when you stick it on, 
you'll never get it off again. So be aware of that. Um, and they give you, if you're going to use some screws as well, they give us some super um, dumpy screws because we were very concerned about going into the shower cubicle. So if you're screwing up brackets, make sure you check, you know, the wood, uh, short stumpy screws, bit of that adhesive tape in there that's not going to let go um, and job done. So there, there is a, um, all I do here is it's got a 12 volt. I don't run this one on 240 volt. It's just on 12 volt. The red lead is a, a 12 volt lead. I normally just, uh, oh, there's one of my little um, super duper sticky um, adhesive things that I use to uh, just clip up the, the wires out of the way of my, my feet when I'm in bed. The black wire is a HDMI lead, so I can couple it onto my computer, so I can watch my um, uh, movies on there. I can watch my, um, I, I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, photos, so I can um, view my photos on the screen of the TV, which is really handy. Just select the input as um, HDMI and uh, away you go. You can uh, couple your Blu-ray onto that as per. Um, you can. I, I can actually couple my uh, smart controller from my drone onto there and watch drone footage. I've been doing that recently. It's awesome. Um, you can actually um, put your drone outside, um, couple it onto the TV, watch what it's taking. That's pretty smart. Uh, there's so many options. I uh, hope that's given you a brief insight it's probably getting on for half past eight now so i'm going to uh, try and rip this video we'll call it a video short <laughs> so thanks a, thanks a lot for watching hope that's give you a, a maybe answered a couple of little uh, questions that um people have asked about tvs and stuff uh, if there's any others drop them in the comments we love to uh, try and address them problems um measurements stuff like that we can give you that sort of uh, information thanks for watching i'm out of here See you later. Bye-bye.